This stadium will witness our glorious match where our heroes will be fighting to change the 9 into 10 and Pepsi Misimani is doing his best in order to win the second African Championship with Al Ahli and the third in his history. From Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you an in-depth view of Al Ahli for this week. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli secure a precious away win in Tunisia. Al Khatib provides support for Al Ahli players. Musimani, we can talk about the final now. Ishinawi, we will fight to secure qualification. Al Ahli achieved a 1 0 win over Tunisia's aspirants on Saturday in the first leg of the CAF Champions League semis at Hamadi Stadium. Before the match, riots erupted between aspirants fans and the Tunisian police, who fired gas bombs to control the riots, and the game was delayed for one hour and started at 7 pm at Cairo time. Mohamed Sharif was our hero in the game and he scored the winning goal midway of the second half with a sensational finish, giving us a slight advantage ahead of the second leg in Cairo. For the second season in a row, we secured a victory away from home in the first leg of the CAF Champions League semi-final. Mahmoud Al Khatib Al Ahli's president was keen to attend the team's pre match training session in order to support our players ahead of today's encounter against Aspirants. The Red Eagles will face Aspirants today at 9 pm at Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium in the second leg of the CAF Champions League semi finals. Musimani commented on a pre match conference that we are playing at home, and when we play at home, we play to win. What is important for us is to try to protect our lead, our small lead. You do so by scoring and making sure the opponent doesn't score. Of course, we enter the second leg with a small advantage, but we all know the history of Al Ahli and Esperance. History speaks a lot. We will cross the bridge when we come to it. We cannot talk now about the final. The biggest mistake for a coach is to talk about the final when he still has a game to play. We respect aspirants and we know that they have a very experienced squad. This game will be more difficult than the game in Tunisia. We have not qualified yet. We will fight to secure qualification. We all know our situation understand the difficulty of the game. In the first leg, we played in front of aspirants fans. We were focused and we knew what we wanted from the game. We are not overconfident. We still have a second half here in Cairo and we hope to celebrate after the game. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.